now let's do this question when you are doing these kind of questions the first thing that you have to do read the requirement and get the understanding about the requirement so in this question what they are telling calculate the nominal after tax NPV of the project E and comment on the financial acceptability of this project cool so here we have to calculate the NPV of this particular project project E so after that what you have to do when you are reading the scenario make sure to read the scenario with the proper understanding don't read it for the sake of reading it read it with the proper understanding project E is strategically important project so they are telling it is very important strategically important for the business which the board of OAP company has decided must be undertaken so that is something very important when you are writing the recommendation because they have decided ok we have to undertake the project in order to company to remain competitive regardless of the financial acceptability whether the financially the project is good or not the board has decided to undertake the project so that is something very important the project has a life of four years information regarding the future cash flows they have given sales volume selling price variable cost fixed cost this forecast for the taking account of 5% inflation for the selling price and variable cost inflation 6% and fixed cost inflation 3.5% and fixed costs are incremental and it is associated with the project E. So they are telling you are incurring this fixed cost as a result of the project so it is incremental then you have to take that fixed cost at the end of 4 years machine will be have will be having a scrap value of 400,000 tax allowable depreciation is 25% reducing balance basis and tax is one year arrears so in this question what they are telling tax is paid one year arrears and balancing allowance is available end of four years uh, the rate they have given after tax cost of capital is given so 13% nominal cost of capital that means inflated if not money cost of capital is given which is 13% the initial investment amount of the project is 5 million dollars so let's do the NPV calculation when you are doing the NPV calculation put down the format first so here let me reduce the size for maybe 75% so we'll start with sales then we can deduct our variable cost then fixed cost then we will get the taxable cash flows then tax payment tax saving working capital scrap and investment So this project is for 4 years, so let me put year 0, year 1, year 2, year 3 and year 4. Okay. So sales volume they have given, sales volume, selling price is given and what they are telling is selling price is subject to an inflation of 5%. So let's do the calculation, year 1 each unit price is in year 1 450 it is subject to an inflation of 5% into 1.05 to the power 1 so this will give you the selling price of one unit likewise we are planning to sell 12,000 units so let me copy paste and let me change the value it is easy for me actually so here second year 475 to the power 2 and we are planning to sell 13,000 units and the next year the selling price is 500 to the power 3 we are planning to sell 10,000 units and the fourth year 
selling price is 570 to the power 4 and here the number of units are 10,000 so why are we taking the inflation into consideration because in this question we are taking all the values that they have given it in current terms so unless told otherwise you have to take it as current terms now let's take the variable cost so variable cost values let me use the same figures and let me change it so variable cost for the first year 260 minus 260 since it is a cost so variable cost inflation they have given it is 6 percent 6 percent and here variable cost is 280 minus 280 6 percent and 13,000 units and here 295 inflation is 6 percent likewise 10,000 units and here 200 and 320 inflation is 6 percent number of units 10,000 units so here 295 let me confirm it good so now I can take the fixed cost fixed cost every year they have given 750 but what they have given fixed cost is subject to an inflation of 3.5 percent 750,000 into 1.035 to the power 1 so let me copy paste and let me change the values so here to the power 2 and here to the power 3 and here to the power 4 good so now let's take our taxable cash flows so how much is the taxable cash flow let me take some of these things let me copy paste it so i am getting the values accordingly now we will take the tax payment with regarding the tax what they are telling tax is 28 percent per year one year areas so for this year one tax for year one taxable cash flow the tax is paid in year two so here into 28 percent i am taking minus 28 percent in order to get it as a negative value so here into minus 28 percent this into into minus 28 percent then for the fourth year the tax is paid in fifth year so we will have to open up another year for the year number five so let me open up another year for the year number five let me center all these values and go good now I have to do my tax saving adjustment. So always what I recommend, it's better to do the tax saving adjustment separately. So let's do the tax saving adjustment. Here investment they have given, how much is that? 5 million. And it is 25% reducing balance basis. That means this into 25%. So here I am getting the depreciation for the year 1. So depreciation into the tax percentage is your tax saving. So depreciation into the tax percentage which is 28%. 28% is your tax saving. So 28% is your tax saving. 
so here i am getting my tax saving so this is the tax saving relevant for the year one so it will be realized in year two that amount will be realized in year two so let me take okay so this is tax saving and this is realized because in this question what they are telling the tax is paid one year earlier so when you are paying the tax only you will get the benefit so this will be realized in year two then what's the balance this amount 375 so for that amount 25 percent so here this is depreciation for the year two so this amount is the tax saving for the year two it will get realized in year three again so simply you can copy paste certain things because the same formula will get pasted so here see j6 into 25 percent that's what we need so that learning you will get that skill you will get when you practice more questions in excel only year 3 depreciation so this will be realized in year 4 okay so three years done this is a four year question normally in the last year of the operations we will not have any kind of depreciation we will take balancing charge or balancing allowance so in this question they are telling there is a balancing allowance available so how much is the scrap value uh, in this question they have given a scrap value of 400,000 they have given a scrap value of 400,000 so for you to get 400,000 this particular amount which is 2.1 million amount should get reduced to 400,000 so let me do the calculation here then here I am getting 1.7 amount that I am getting so this is balancing allowance for the last year so that amount into the tax percentage so why I am taking minus 28 percent because already tax depreciation is there in negative but tax saving is positive so negative negative it will give me a positive that's why I took negative 28 percent because somehow the tax saving is a positive amount so this will get realized in year 5 so here let me reduce the number of decimal places and there are no decimal places we'll have the separation by having the comma yes good so here it is neat and clean now let's take the tax saving tax saving don't go and type the value always make sure to link the values so this is the tax saving coming for the year two the tax saving coming for the year three the tax saving coming for the year four the tax saving coming for the year five good so in this question we don't have working capital adjustment so we can quickly finish off the calculation now get the scrap value scrap value last year of the operation this fifth year why did we add because of the tax adjustment if the tax is not there this fifth year is not relevant because of the tax only because the tax is one year arrears after a year only the tax payments are happening that's why we added a new year which is the year five but the business operation is there only for four years so scrap value is 400,000 and investment amount is how much it is 5 million so I am taking minus 5 million because investment is cash outflow so now I am getting all the net cash flow so let me put underlines for this one good now let me take the net cash flow amount net cash flow equal sum open the brackets from this place to this place so now i can copy paste it so we'll make the calculation by having some decimal numbers i'll 
not keeping the decimal numbers I am going to keep some separations with the comma yes this is nice and beautiful good so always make sure to keep your workings very clean and neat then only examiners will be impressed so now let's calculate the NPV NPV so what's the NPV formula equals NPV open the brackets you have to type the rate so in this question they have calculated and given the rate the inflated if not the nominal rate which is 13 percent since we are taking the inflated cash flows we have to take the nominal rate if not the inflated rate if not the money rate so 13 percent is the inflated rate so select the cash flows from year one onwards close it and make the year zero adjustment separately since i want to deduct 5 million that's why i type a plus value so here what's the npv that i am getting i am getting a npv of 46270 negative 46270 negative so what's the recommendation that you have to give here so it is something very important where most of the students i know they will make a mistake when it's come to the recommendation they will just say since the NPV is negative, it is not recommended to proceed with the investment. But that is only a part of the recommendation. Now I will tell you how to write the proper recommendation. For this particular recommendation, you will be getting one mark. So this is how you have to write it. Since NPV is negative financially, the project is not worthwhile the next part is very important however due to the strategic importance of the project the board has decided to proceed with the investment so as i told you most of the students they will not type this second part but in this question they are specifically telling because of the strategic importance of the project they have already decided to proceed with the investment you have to mention it for you to get the full mark if you didn't mention it you will get only a half mark so this is how you can easily score a 14 marks in your ACCA financial management paper